Hey everyone, it's Mitch Dyer. I am joined by Frank Knight. Thanks for having me, Mitch. Yeah, man. The TMNT 2, well, I guess it's Out of the Shadows. TMNT, Out of the Shadows, okay. the sequel to the 2014 Ninja Turtles movie. Trailers hit. We're going to do a rewind theater. Let's break it down, Frank. So, okay, at the very top, we have what's becoming a really common thing in all of our summer blockbusters now. Some type of crazy uh, alien <laughs> or something comes out of the sky. Yeah. Uh, is this Ninja Turtles? Is this Avengers? Oh, no, wait. It's... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, not, you know, one of the 40,000 other things yeah. that open like this. Yeah, and I, so, fun fact, this is actually the end of the movie. I, I read a bunch of stuff from people who visited sets, and it seems like this is sort of the last act. Like, this is how everything comes to climax. be. a big climax. Right, and if you think that these machines are anything other than, like, weird Dimension X Technodrome crank pieces, I think you're out of your mind. Yeah, I think totally, like, uh, like we're going to have, like, our rock dudes riding around in these. Uh, I hope so. Hopefully, some of... Trang's Warriors from Dimension X. I want neutrinos. Like Perfect. I want, I want the Good. hot riding teenagers from Dimension X. That'd be great. Yeah, and like, and it just opens up the doors for a lot of weird stuff in the third movie, which they definitely want to do. Um, yeah, I just I I like that it's like a bunch of weird shapes and stuff. Like it's not like in the Avengers, they all had the same bike or whatever, right? Like yeah. these are just like I don't know, it's a mishmash of things, and it's like these drunk robots crashing into buildings and stuff. They don't care. I love the new look. look at the new turtles. Yeah, and I, I really dig the look. Like, he looks less like a weird turtle man and more like an actual turtle. Like, they downplayed the lips a bit. You mentioned they, like, downplayed the snout yeah. a little bit. Michelangelo is still, he's he's still, like, the most, like, human-looking of all of them. Yeah. Uh, Donatello, they nerded up hardcore. Like, he has suspenders now. Oh, I didn't notice that. That's really great. Yeah, like... But he's also the most jacked of all of them. Yeah. <laughs> he's, like, super he's slender cut. and ripped. It's very weird. His, uh, his switchblade bow staff with electrical... Buzzy things. Yeah, right. Like it looks like a general Grievous guard or something. Yeah. Leo here with his fancy new sword. Mm -hmm. I like that his uh, what's the stupid hand? The suba. Cover? The suba is a shell. Yeah, it's a it's a turtle shell. So his his he now instead of having like ninja toe, it totally looks like he has like just straight up katana. Yeah. I don't know. Is this like Mikey or Don Donatello like ripping the the cover off of the the Tartuga brothers? truck which is really good the tartaruga truck is just the garbage truck it's not the van yeah it's, um, it's the, instead of like the party wagon the turtle van it's the turtle dump truck but hey perfect it's still pretty rad uh i dig that the inside of this is like like they're going full-on cartoon they're not trying to make like a super serious live action movie like they're like no what if the inside was just covered in like pop art comic book graffiti stuff right like down in the bottom here you've got like an actual comic book panel yeah from something and just graffiti art up top i love that you have you have the the kind of hazard, like yellow and black stripes, right. like you had on like you know a million stickered for your Ninja Turtle vehicles. Like, oh, oh man, caution. I didn't even think about that. Like right. the ones you had to apply yourself. Exactly. So good. Uh, this thing is ridiculous. I love it. It's it's definitely like I don't know. We got a bit of it in the first movie, but man, this is the real deal. Yeah, they're going like straight on ridiculous with this. Yeah. Uh, Which is great because now they could just own it. They can be like, how silly would it be to have actual like weird foot ninjas in New York City and that's what they're doing with these guys. Yeah, when we see when you first watch this trailer you might think, "Oh, we're doing the SWAT team Foot Clan again." But no, we'll see later that they're full on ninjas now. And got the music cue here is just horribly retro. It's so good. It's lovely. Um but I love this. I love the, the idea of the pizzas. Yeah, the Sawblade blade pizzas. <laughs> like I mean, they're manhole covers in the yeah. movie, whatever. They're they're kind of realistic in the movie. But like anybody who had stupid Ninja Turtles toys back in the day, like they shot pizzas, like deadly pizzas yeah. at their enemies. So I love the idea that like they're like, "Yep. Our vehicle in this is just straight up a toy." Look at Leo. I love this. I want like a gif of Leo just like licking his lips here. <laughs> That's how good of a time he's having. Anyway, moving on. I love this. This is just like perfect Ninja Turtles comics of them like sliding down the sewer and stuff. Like I don't know. I'm just I'm really optimistic about this. Like it just looks fun. Like more fun than the first movie, which yeah, had like a couple decent moments, but was really like a really boring April. Yeah, I felt movie. like in the first movie they had to like you know change horses midstream and be like, oh, you know what? Actually, we'll try yeah. to make this movie a little funner. It's a little too dark. And this movie, they were like from the ground up. They were just like, nope, they're ridiculous teenagers. They're giants yes. and they're jacked, but they're they're teenagers. They all have pants now. Uh, which solves a lot they of problems. They got pants. They don't care about shirts, though. Yeah, no. They're they're all rocking the turtle abs. Yep. I love that. Uh, this is also very evident that, like, they're out of the shadows. Like, people know who they are. They are meeting the public. They're not hiding anymore. Yeah. They've definitely embraced the, the title of this movie. Yes. And here are ninjas. Like, actual, real, modern ninjas with swords and weird masks and cool armor. Big yeah. fan. They look like G.I. Joe retaliation dudes. I got. I got to imagine. Like we're gonna. If this movie is is even remotely good, we're gonna see tons of cosplays of these ninjas. Just yeah. Everybody's gonna have one. What's this dude carrying in his right hand? It's like a vial of something. 
I wonder if this is a police police TGRI ooze. Yeah, I wonder, is this a police station? Yeah, it is. Okay, yeah. there's cop stuff everywhere. I was thinking it might be a lab, but maybe they're... Uh, see, there it is again on the right side. Yeah. He's got like a vial of the something. glowing something or other. Yeah. You know, it might have to do with the uh, creation of people we see in a little bit. Yeah. Uh, another just really good shot. I just love this shot of the boys. It makes me very happy. This scene is really cool. It really reminds me of the the first live action Ninja Turtle movie, where like the Foot Clan goes to attack April O'Neil, yes. but instead of like Raphael coming to save her, we have Old Arrow. Casey Jones. Yeah, we got a really really young Casey Jones, and he's a little spunky in this trailer. And I kind of hope this movie breaks him because the I just loved how messed up he was in the first movie. Uh, I don't think I've actually a ton never to remember down. like Casey Jones actually like being good at hockey. Like, remember, like, he had, like, no, the he just bag had... of all the things yeah. to beat people with. But I love the idea that he just knocked a dude out with a slap shot. Well, he's also very much, like, that's the only weapon he has in this whole trailer. Yeah, is exactly. It's because it's just, it... like, Stephen Amell, hockey Canadian <laughs> fan. <laughs> and he's got, a, he's got a New York Rangers puck, which we'll see in a bit. Yeah. But I just love that it's, there it is. There it is. Go Rangers. Uh, but yeah, it's all hockey sticks the whole time. Yeah, it's the he's only just, thing he's got. Straight up, he's like competitive. He's just like it's so amazing at hockey that he can beat people up with it. Which makes sense. He's got the goalie mask, right? Yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense. But man, I, I miss that cricket bat. Yeah, it's so good. And of course, the setup. They're still gonna be hitting on the Ninja Turtles. Love April O'Neil. Of course, don't they all? Uh, so Baxter Stockman, our first look at Baxter Stockman. Uh, perfect actor choice in Tyler Perry, I think. <laughs> I love that this dude is taking on weirder, like, more weird than Medea roles yeah. <laughs> somehow. Like, somehow it gets Super weirder. dramatic roles in Gone Girl, Baxter Stockman in TMNT, why yeah. not? And our first look at our new Shredder. Yeah, they, so they recast him, and I like that he's, you know, he's got the mask off, he's more of a person this time around. Yeah, the in the previous movie, like, he almost, like, Shredder seemed to have been an afterthought. Like, yeah. uh, you, you pretty much saw, like, this crazy mecha Shredder at the end of the movie, but this time we see uh, Shredder and we see uh, we see WWE Heavyweight Champion Sheamus right there in the background. <laughs> here's, our, here's our human Rocksteady and Bebop. Yeah, I, I love that, uh, that we see them as people before we see them as uh, a giant boar and a giant rhino. And Bebop looks just straight out of the cartoon show, even his human form. Yeah. Like, they're absolutely... I um, believe that's Karai in the background no there. Doubt. So we have our new Karai too. No doubt. So it seems like we're really focusing on kind of like traditional Ninja Turtles lore in this movie. It almost feels like maybe it's like a soft reboot. Like they might be ignoring like giant chunks of the previous movie. Yeah, and I'm fine with that. I, I, I like that movie. I just think there's stuff that they could uh, disregard. Yeah, and I think that might be what they're doing in this one. Especially they're not even calling it. It's not Ninja Turtles 2. Yeah. You know, there's not even a sequel number in this. What is so, this uh, MacGuffin there sitting around here? I just noticed this. What do you think that is? Is that like a? It's got to be something Stockman's working on. It looks like super high tech, like secret of the Uzi kind of big tube of whatever. Yeah, some, goopy some technology, right? Like something of, to that effect. Yeah, I, probably some setup for like how they're gonna open you know, a portal to Dimension X or some sort of craziness thing that sets up for another thing. Uh, <laughs> big fan but. of this reveal. Like just. They aren't even trying to make them look realistic, right? Yeah. <laughs> like, you, like you mentioned to me off, off mic, like they are the cartoon characters. Yeah, they're just flat out the cartoon characters. It's a little weird even because like they're so accurate. Like they're like, hey, you've seen like people on the internet do this all the time. They're like, they take like a cartoon character or a video game character and, and make a hyper, it realized, yeah. hyper realistic version. It's pretty much what we're getting here with Rocksteady and Bebop. It, it's almost like they clash with the Ninja Turtles who aren't really on model yeah. compared to these guys. Like look at those sunglasses. Big fan that the tattoo stayed. Oh yeah, right? <laughs> When he's many morphed, <laughs> love that. They're also like really gross. Yeah. <laughs> like, they look so gnarly yeah. with his weird pig nipples and his boar <laughs> his hair like, gut. Hairy gut. His no. terrible, terrible facial hair. They're just monsters. Uh, uh, I love this. Like you focus here on. Uh, how do they frame it here? I think it's. Who's who here? Yeah, okay, so you have Rocksteady on the left taking on Raph, and you have Bebop just straight up <laughs> suplexing Leo in the background. It's so good. Sheamus. <laughs> it just, it's so amazing. We got like the, the like the kind of spear going on, and you know, everybody's hiding behind the MacGuffin. Yeah, I so I'm trying to see if we can find like a decent non blurry frame, but it, I don't know. It looks like a, a tube of weirdness. Yeah, with lights running up in blinkies. It's, you know, the old blinkies. <laughs> you know, the old blinkies. It's some piece of like Dimension X tech or something, yeah. you know. It also occurs to me the tank in the back of this plane is no doubt like this, I would imagine, is the plane they fall out of into the rapids when we see the tank come out of the water. That's probably right. Also, if you look really close, you can see it says TCRI, TCRI uh, which I believe is what they renamed the organization in this movie. It was TGRI 
in the old movies. Got which it. Is the organization that Stockman. Uh, yeah. That well, Shredder and kind of everybody uh, okay. works that to to make the turtles. It was you know right. that's the they're the bad scientists that are responsible for all the yes. mutagen and apparently now tanks. Sure. Uh, I love this just like video game platforming level. <laughs> With all this stuff, like you straight up did this in the TMNT 2007 game on like a parade, but now it's with like. Weird and, and here tech. is our obligatory Michael Bay shot. Yeah, of course, right. Got to tighten my my teeny tiny shirt. Yep. I love this. Uh, Bebop's bike has just Bebop on it. <laughs> yeah. In case he forgets his name, it's just it's, so good. It's so they never get confused on whose bike's who. It's, yeah. You know. Yeah. I I feel like a lot of this movie is going to be um, CG monster versus CG monster, which. Sometimes it can be a problem, but like Roxanne sure. and Bebop look so good, I'm excited. Also, I love the return of inline skates. Yeah, now I can fan. wear inline skates to the office, and people won't make fun of me. Playing lots of street hockey. Uh, I don't know if that's like a. I assume that's just sparks and not like an electro weapon thing, right? Like he's yeah, bashing he's, that he's, pole. He, yeah, spoop. he's just like hitting it. Um, the funny thing is, look how big he is on that bike. Yeah, like it's it's hilarious. There's just like, is this in the background? Is Bebop on the same bike? He's on like he's got like the three wheels on the back. I don't know if that's the same. Yeah, I think that's their same bikes. I think they have those uh, those kind of like trike bikes that are like oh, motorcycle okay. front and like two wheels in the back, which uh, is adorable. And I love that uh, Rocksteady just forgets his bike at a certain point. Yeah, and he just goes straight up he like just goes rhino. Full on rhino mode, and he looks all gnarly. And yeah, gross. he just goes all four. Yeah, and I love this. Like Stephen Amell just like roller skating with a hockey stick. I thought he was on a scooter the first time I saw this. <laughs> like on a razor scooter. Go, man, go. Uh, but yeah, I love that they're just embracing like how dumb the animalistic nature of Rocksteady would be, where he's like, I'm a rhino, I'm just going to plow through everything. Yeah, absolutely. Will Arnett regrettably returning. Yep. It's, he's very minimal in the trailer, so, yeah. you know, who knows. And then the the boss battle. Of course. The the raid boss appears. Uh, so I'm trying to figure out... I, I thought this might have been the same wheel from the Turtle Land, but I went back and looked, and it's not... Um, yeah, they're they're inner tubing on some part of something. Yeah, and I think it might have just been something that fell out of the plane. Um, yeah, ah, let's let's just go back real quick and see if we can see what the wheels look like on this thing. Do they show it here? No, it was at the beginning. Let's go back yeah, a little earlier a little to the reveal. Yeah, yeah. I see like the hubcaps here are totally different. They don't have like the white circle in the middle. So I thought it might have been they fell out of a plane with the van. Guess not. Unfortunately, unfortunately not. But you know, it, there's a tank. There's yeah. a tank and a, a rhino on top of the tank shooting like tank shells at yeah. our Ninja Turtles. This is crazy boss battle. Like this has to be the boss battle like a Crash Bandicoot game or something. Like, yeah, right. I just I also has to have done this. I also just really love this shot. Like this is the mountain shot from the first movie mm -hmm. where like it's that crazy weird slow mo thing. But like yeah. Mikey just getting thrown. He's just gone. Yep. Donnie not really knowing where he is after he comes out of the water. Raph flipping to over to take it to like yep. move him out of the way of this Save rocket. Him. And Rocksteady's cheer. Yeah. <laughs> like an <laughs> arm fist in the air as he shoots a <laughs> shell out of a tank is too good. Too too good. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to see if we see the TCRI logo on this tank or not. Uh, a little too misty with the water. Yeah, there's a lot of water splash from where it would be. Thoughts, Frank? Uh, I'm really excited about this movie. I, it seems like they're kind of apologizing for everything that went wrong with the last one. And uh, we're just going to kind of go on to a much more fun, lighthearted, cartoony craziness. Yeah, I think embracing like weird alien Dimension X crank stuff is probably a good step in that direction just being like hey like this is a dumb comic book movie like dumber than most yeah and just owning that like i think they could really go far with that yeah no, I'm, I'm i'm excited i hope i hope it's as good as you know turtles 2 secret of the ooze oh man we can only hope i'm actually really excited for this movie i'm optimistic this trailer is a lot of fun i enjoyed it frank thank you so much for your time we're gonna have a lot a whole lot more for you on teenage mutant ninja turtles out of the shadows ahead of its june 2016 release june frank nods cool thank you frank and for all things tmnt comic books whatever you need stay tuned to ign